Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shad Bashem, or Kakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, Christian's Word, truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, Christian's Word, truthfully and sincerely. And I say, uh, Shalom to the uh, Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, Christian's Word, truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And I say, Shalom to you, Akim, out here, out there. And this is a. Uh, in the news on this uh, Thursday afternoon, December the 9th, 2021. I'm about to bring it out. News article. If I go to it. Oh, Salakia. Mm. And this was just recently updated 28 minutes ago. This is from RT.com. And the highlight of this news article, and it says, uh, Ukrainian Navy ship close to Russian waters off, <clears throat> off the Coast Guard primary and refusing to change course. And it says the Ukrainian Navy vessel named the Donbass, if I pronounce that right, has set course to pass through Russian territory waters off the coast of Crimea and it's ignoring warnings to turn around border officials have reported the incident comes at a time of heightened tensions between Russia and Ukraine they have caused an alarm internationally in a statement issued late on Thursday night Russia the FSB announced that on December the 9th at 9 12 a.m. in the morning the commander Schiff Donbass of the Ukraine Navy left the port <clears throat> of uh, Mariupol in the beginning heading for the course of Kris Kris Strait, if I pronounce those words right, and continuing on with the news article, according to the officials, the vessel did not have permission to pass through the Russian control Kris Yen Kosklisky Canal that divides the Black Sea from the Sea of Azurov. Uh, the Ukrainian crew has reportedly insisted that they did not intend to pass through the waters. However, according to the FSB, I mean FSB, a present, a present as the Donbass is a distance of 18 miles from the street and is not complying with the requirements to change course these acts impose a threat to the safety of navigation so you know after it was just uh after this news just came in for rt news you know and i'm gonna bring this uh, article i mean a uh, scripture out for this you know and i'm gonna bring it out again uh, Matthews 24 and 6 and ye shall have wars and rumors of wars be ye not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet right just like I mentioned before and I'm going to say it again you know it's uh and hey it's intensifying every day you hear uh prophecies and news articles and things like this that's in the news that's where you know continue to bring it out and it's continuing to increase of uh, these wars and rumors of wars, these tensions between the Ukraine and the United I mean, the tensions between Ukraine and uh, Russia, you know. So it's going to uh, continue to increase and intensify in these last days, you know. You're going to see more of uh, wars and rumors of wars between two different nationality groups of people even though these two groups are Edomites according to the Holy Scriptures you know these are uh, two groups you know they going at it with each other even though according to reports said they they are not but they are you know and these are the signs of the times that we are living in you're gonna continue to see increase of uh, tensions between two different groups of people or two different nationality of groups of people of the nation should rise against nation and wars and rumors of wars, you know. And this is uh, one article, you know, that I was just reading that, you know, 
you know, these are the times that we are living in, you know, and this definitely showing we are definitely in the book of Revelations because it's showing it's showing itself, you know, through the news, through the news articles, you know, and what we've been seeing right before our eyes. We are definitely in the book of Revelations, you know, and I'm going to bring it out for edification's sake because all these uh, uh, World War Three stuff is brewing. The drum, the war drum rolls is definitely blowing up. The tensions are definitely are in the air, and it's showing that, showing signs of that in these last days. And I'm gonna bring it out for edification's sake through the Holy Scriptures. This is the Book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 14. The second war was passed. You know, World War II already passed already. And behold, the third war coming quickly, right? Because the third war coming quickly. Because it makes sense. Because we are definitely living in the Book of Revelations. Because you got these nations are definitely uh intensifying against one another you know they uh sending signals towards one another if it's from a verbal economic standpoint or it's probably potentially an upcoming uh physical standpoint of military use is coming as well too you know he's showing signs of that it's real too because we in the verbal uh you know they are uh, verbally at each other right now at the moment with the uh, wars and rumors of wars you know the nation should rise against nation the kingdom against kingdom you know even though they are doing it verbally but very soon it's going to come to physically with military use and strength you know in these last days you know so you know that's why I wanted to bring this up and you know this is a uh, you know this is news right here you know but even though a lot of people might deny it, saying it's oh it's not big news, it's just a mistake. You know they uh made a mistake that uh you know they went past the uh, waters and they didn't you know they didn't uh, follow the instructions to turn back, so they're not gonna change course and everything. But you know these are signs or indication that you know these two different groups of of nation two different groups of nations of race of people you know the tension started to intensify with each other you know in these last days and it's going to continue to increase in these last days as well too like i mentioned before the nation should against the nation should rise against nation the kingdom against kingdom you know you're seeing that you know you know you're seeing this with uh the highlight of these nations with russia china iran you know, because it's already enough. You got Russia and you already got Iran and uh, Israel at each other's throats. Can't stand one another. Then you got <laughs> this Russia and in, in, uh, this Russian Ukraine situation. You know, you got many different things going on in the world. It's, it's biblical prophecies because these are the signs of the times that went in. It's going to continue to intensify and increase in these last days. So with that, I hope this was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahushua. And first and foremost, let's give all praise and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shalom. And before I close out this uh, sit-down lesson and the news on this uh, Thursday afternoon, December the 9th, 2021, expect to see more increase of nations to rise against nation and wars and rumors against war. I mean, and rumor, rumors of wars and second world was passed behold the third world coming quickly as it highly intensified in these last days so with that i will say shalom